Hi, Tony from Hurricane Wind Power here. Um, today I have a hot water heating element and I want to introduce some new products to you. I um, want to tell you a little bit about my company and who I am, um, just to set the record straight for some people. Some of you think that we're just a redneck guy in the basement over here, and you're right to a certain extent. However, I am a high-tech redneck. Um, I would like to point out to you that we have this high school diploma on the wall. We have a four-year degree. I have academic scholarships and, and, and awards. I have a whole Master of Arts degree on the wall over there. And then we're still paying for that one, so I've got my um, bullshit online degree here. But, um, here I've got, uh, just for today, I put this back in my pocket. This is retired as of 2013. Um, someone recently accused me of having a job. Yes, I did have a job. That used to be considered a good thing. Um, so... I'm Tony and I like boonie hats. So this is my boonie hat and I will be putting this on for the video. Considering we will be working with hot liquids and batteries here, I'm also going to wear my safety sunglasses here for this video. Now, I would like to introduce to you real quick our new line of hot water heating elements. And our new hot water heating elements, this is the old stuff that we have. This is the new 12 volt 300. Now, if you go out to Lowe's or any home improvement type store, you're gonna see what's called a quick, quick recovery element. And these are usually preferred, you know? You, you've got more area in contact with the water, more heating. This is the 24 volt model, uh, 24 300. 48600 and 48 1kW and we'll be selling these in packs of two soon with a variable thermostat. This is our actual real 100 amp heat sink that mounts on a DIN rail with our 100 amp SSR relay. Just for those of you that are new and for some reason getting into this, if you see a charge controller, we're using these things to divert the top end of batteries over to um, hot water for people who have solar. This, with a little brain box, does not make a good charge controller. There's no algorithm to it. There's no bolt. There's no float. There's no absorption. It's really not um, what what we would suggest. So while I'm talking about these, I'm just gonna take these two. These both, I've given this thing here the benefit of the doubt. Um, same gauge wire, the longer run goes to this one. So I'm just gonna hook these up and let them, and let them do their thing and what happens, happens. But you now let's see what these do. Um, these will heat up faster if I you know I've just got a little test rig set up here so anyway um, back to these uh, we will be having soon a um, variable thermostat that we have available for our elements which if you use this for something other than diversion load you know you're probably going to need that um, just a market note, I haven't seen a lot of 48 volt. You know, if you've got a serious renewable energy system that's off grid, a 48 volt 1kW element, a couple of those uh, will get you will get you moving. So it looks to me like I oh my goodness, these guys are already hot. Let me see what we got here on the thermostat. We got 156 degrees here, and we got, we're bouncing between 100, oh, it's moving on up, almost to 160. These things, this infrared thermometer really isn't the best thing because the beam will actually bounce off the water, so let's just talk a little bit and 
you know, you're going to see something come to a rolling ball here real quick, one or the other, and um, that will be that. But um, come back soon, come back often, because for the next few days, it was going to be a video a day in the month of May, so it's July, so I'm, I'm running behind as usual, but a video a day in the month of July to get all these new products out to you. Um, and you know we, what we really want to do is this. Uh, this is just about improving the um, service, improving the product lines, and now not really about anybody else. Doesn't have anything to do about in, with any, anybody else. And I just want to take the time to, you know, say right now. I mean, if you're one of those guys that's out there and you don't own a business or you. Whether you own a business or not, I don't guess really matters. But, you know, there's too much nasty stuff. There's too much negativity going on. It's toxic. It's not something that we want to be involved in. And, um, you know, if you're one of those guys, stop it. Move on. There's other things to do. What we are doing is we'll be bringing new products to market. We're going to try to bring the most efficient stuff. And, you know, I guess whoever has the nicest line of products or the best performing stuff, you know, I, I assume that in the, at the end of the day that that will speak for itself. So enough of me in my mouth and see where we're at. This guy's pretty, pretty doggone hot. space on this car. I promise the viewers if you come back we will um, we, we will buy more memory space on on the car. So we bring better longer videos. Get it from the kind of from the top angle. We'll be able to see a rolling ball here in a minute. And if you see how these guys are working, I don't know if you can pick it up on camera, but you can see the bubbles coming off of both both of these elements. And you can see the bubbles blowing off this small area here. We just, this element, and then this is not really the container to really even properly, you know, demonstrate this. We've got surface area up here that's not even in contact with the water. But this element, you know, if we have to assume that if you buy this thing, what you what you're aiming to do is to heat water. Um, and if that's your goal, I mean, hopefully, I don't know what'll come out on the video, but I mean, you know, the, this is the demonstration. Uh, I've got. We're up over 187. Over here, we're only at uh, about 160. You can come get that for me.
So this is um, this is a small glass of water. If you have a large water heater, um, you know, this is what you're seeing on eBay for as low as nine dollars over here. Um, this is what we sell that I hope you can see we'll get the job done for you. thermometer is bouncing off but we're at a rolling ball water's coming over I mean there's your there you go anyway in review this is our 12 volt water heating element it comes with this this nice gasket here uh, to, to keep this from leaking lots more surface area this is the old element that we have discontinued these are our 24 48 and 48 uh, water heating elements um, I think these will do a better job for you than what you may have been looking at on the market this is what we have going on here I'm gonna have to disconnect these because water is now coming out and I don't want to blow myself up but um, anyway come back more products more improvements to come um, Tony from Hurricane Wind Power till next time thank you and don't forget to subscribe like